Um, I need to show you guys this one because this has become a real favorite. It's called Note Selector. So then you go to Note Selector, Create New. So you can create your own drills, really. And welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Manu from Piano Sight Reading, where I give sight reading tips to piano players. And in this video, you're going to get a peek inside the note reading app NoteQuest. And that's because a few weeks ago, I interviewed the founder of this app, Grace Lee, and she showed us inside the app and showed us all the different features and what the app can help you with. So let's play that interview. This is what the app looks like. And then since it hears you play at the piano, you want to give it access. And um, you can actually put in your profile, add your name. So I'll put Grace here, save. And so as I mentioned, note class is the section that's the game section and note fit is the sight reading. So do you want to do the show me? Do you want me to show you the game section first? Sure. Um, I'll do that. So I'm going to, by the way, you can do this. Um, how, I bet some of you guys are using digital keyboards. If you do and you have roommates or people you live with and they don't, maybe want to always hear you practice, you can actually connect this to your um, keyboard through a MIDI input, and then you can use headphones. So um, that you would just select the top button. The bottom button is virtual piano, which is slightly more limited in capability, but it has an in-app in keyboard, so you can play it anywhere, um, even on an airplane. Okay, so here we are, landmark notes. And again, these are the free sections. And when you go through three landmark notes, these are probably the first three you guys learned during your um, your seminar. So I'm, I'm gonna go to my piano. So, um, these are just really quick mini drills. So I did a good job. <laughs> so um, it gives you one, two, or three stars based on how many you pass within 15 seconds. Okay, so they're just really quick drills. Okay, you can repeat them. Again, we were just talking about this, right? Repetition is the key to success. So when it comes to learning your notes, so this encourages a lot of repetition. So um, the other thing uh, you can do, you can go back. So that's the three landmark notes. Here are the three C's. Actually, um, I'll open this up. So this gives you a preview of the three notes that are going to be drilled in that exercise. See that? And it's gonna be the same thing. And here's the five C's. C has the two ledger line C's. And then landmark note mix, which we also added high G and low F. Right, so um, that's already, we didn't make a separate exercise, but it is in the mix, as you can, actually, we, we don't have that in the little preview, but it has that in the mix. So I'll play the five C's now, so you can see it. So you get the idea, right? And so it has that little timer and we still have a uh, winter Christmas mode is, so that's pretty cute, right? <laughs> we, had, we had an illustrator actually design that for us. So I was really pleased with how that turned out. Okay, so um, now after that, then we've got um, Note Class Pro. And during pandemic, I released uh, the whole level one as a part of the free download. So that's good news for you guys, um, it's included. And so here, what you've got is you've got the, the few notes surrounding middle C. There's middle C. So that's what you've got in your exercises. So let's give that a go. Now I'm going to play some incorrectly. So I'm playing a G instead of an F, so it doesn't advance. recognize it. There we go. Now that's correct. Now when I press the hit button, look what happens. 
it gives me the letter note name, right, as a little hint, okay? By the way, one of the problems that we run into when we're beginning sight readers is that sometimes we play the wrong octave. So yeah. if, I play, if I play the upper C, it's not going to advance. I'm gonna play what I call cow C. It's not gonna advance. Now it will. So you do have to play the correct octave or else it's not gonna let you move on, right? So now it's telling me I have to try again. <laughs> so there's that. Okay, and then now um, when you get No Class Pro, it's a one-time upgrade, by the way. This section, um, as of right now, it doesn't have a subscription tied to it. So you just purchase it one time and you get these unlocked. Rising Star, oh, let me just show you the preview. So you get a two octave range in level two, okay? And I believe I you covered this in like maybe a year ago, you did a like a review over the app. So yep. this is just a, like another review for some of you who are new. Um, so you've got the two octave range. Okay, so that's really helpful there. I don't think I need to demonstrate, it's the same concept. Now, as we talked about the importance of introducing intervals very quickly, you know, we don't wanna hang out with single notes for too long. Um, and so what the joke that I make is, please don't say single for too long, <laughs> it's not gonna be for you. <laughs> you need to get you you need to have double notes in order for you to really level up and mm -hmm. start learning to to read music by intervals so two stepper so that's what it looks like okay here's the hint g f um, the, again, the letters are not going to tell you which octave. By the way, if something happens with your instrument, like you have an out of tune instrument or something, and it's not recognizing your pitches, but you know it's right, then just simply go to the top right and tap the skip button. See, I'm just tapping skip. And it lets me just keep advancing. So when you tap skip, it's not going to give you those points, by the way. <laughs> um, so that's that. Oh, by the way, here's something fun we added. You, if you're kind of annoyed with the card flip sound, you can choose from ninja, tap, any tennis players in the house. <laughs> so you can choose any of those just to kind of make it more fun. All right. Um, there's also different backgrounds you can choose too. All right. So that's that. Oh, here's what we talked about in intervals. This is interval selector. And this is a very customized way for you guys to practice your interval interval reading. So here, seconds and thirds, this is the um, initial set we came up with and the rest we added later. But in seconds, what's included is um, intervals of seconds only. So everything's gonna be by, by steps. And by the way, the very first set of exercises are gonna be only hanging on landmark notes. I'll show you what I mean. So you get that. Let's start with seconds connected to landmark notes. Oh, yep. Yeah. There's landmark G. Middle C. And look what happens when we when we get halfway through the drill. Now it gives you a little stop. It says, now let's release more seconds. So after you've gotten some warm up with landmark notes, then it releases the other notes. And so on. So that's what that looks like. So it's again, very sequential in its approach and learning. All right. Um, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to drop them into the chat. One of us can answer that. And then you can do thirds, same thing with thirds. Now we have second and thirds mixed because it's a little bit of a crutch. To, if you already know everything's gonna be seconds, then you know they're gonna be two touching notes, right? But now we have seconds and thirds mixed. So you have to really discriminate, is this a skip or a step, all right? When you're reading these exercises, okay?
and so on. So you're really, again, using that visual discrimination to be able to determine, is it a skip or is it a step? And, um, and is it starting with a landmark note or you know, am I able to recognize where these notes um, are going to be played? And so that's that. Um, and then now we have fourths and fifths and um, three sets of them, all right? So that's, this is what virtual piano looks like. Um, I need to, oh wait, so I'll just go back to Note Class Pro. So here we have an in-app keyboard. So now I'm gonna play it on my iPad. Oops. This is level three. So like a video game, I get to have fun action of sliding the keyboard back and forth to go up and down. So you know you're going down or up and so forth. And that little star denotes uh, that it's middle C because you can get disoriented when moving up and down. So you, again, um, when my students go on long trips, I say, hey, they're like, oh, I can't practice piano. But I say, but you can, you can still practice your note uh, recognition and just take note quests with you on, on the plane. And so you can do this because this doesn't require Wi-Fi. There's not a login or a password required. So it's all localized to the, very, to the app itself. Okay. Um, also, if you're, are you, if you're the type of person that likes to take metrics of how you're doing, here's the stats. And so um, when you go to, again, the levels menu, I, I tapped on the upper right hand corner where it said stats. And for note class, this is what it looks like. So it's kind of like a leaderboard. So I, the five C's, um, I did the three landmark notes with you guys and I made three stars, so it's there. And when I swipe left, there's a tiny, I don't know if you can see it, a little mail icon, and then there's a trash can. So I can delete that or I can tap on the mail icon and I can send that stat to um, like my, my teacher or my parent or, or yourself, whatever. So it's kind of evidence of your, of your work. Um, I need to show you guys this one because this has become a real favorite. It's called Note Selector. So let's say that you have um, a different set of landmarks that you do with your teacher, um, or you have a different instrument that you're trying to learn, um, and they have a different um, range of notes than what's in a piano set. So then you go to Note Selector, Create New, so you can create your own drills, really. And so this is a separate pur uh, purchase in the app. Um, and again, this is just for people who need it. So everything is kind of a la carte for now. Um, let's say we're doing, um, uh, let's say you're a beginner and you're just now learning line notes on the staff. Let's say you've done landmark notes and you wanna learn line notes separately. Do you ever do that, Menu? Do you do line notes and space notes? Uh, I, I do more like steps and skips. Okay. Okay. It's kind of the same thing, just presented a little differently, right? Yeah. So here <clears throat> with my young students, sometimes I go, okay, these are your line notes. And what I did was I simply tapped it on the little virtual keyboard below and it magically appears immediately on the staff. So, you know, the, the studies show um, in educational psychology that the more immediate feedback you can get, the more something sticks to your brain when it's new. So as I'm tapping this, I'm getting immediate feedback. Now, I just tap this with red dots again and they just disappeared. So that's how easy it is. Um, now I'm gonna do space notes. I'm gonna select. So how great is that? Like, as soon as I tapped it, I see the feedback of how those notes look on the note, on the staff, on the notation. And so um, this could be a, a kind of a cool drill. All right, now let's go. Now these are all white keys, right? I'm gonna erase those. Oh, you know what I didn't show you? I didn't show you how to save it. So at the top right, see save. So I tap save and I'm gonna type um, space notes. Oops. And then when I tap on select level, it's saved for me and it's always going to be saved that drill it's going to be in your app so you don't have to re-enter it in again you can always have it at your disposal okay um now i'm going to create new again 
And let's say I want to do a pentascale. You guys know what pentascales are? They're five note scales. So I'm gonna do F major. Ooh, look what happened. At the very top, it says sharp, right? So I'm gonna toggle that over and I'm gonna select flat. So I'm gonna erase this. So I'm gonna start this activity over again. Now I need to erase this. <laughs> So I'm going to select flat at the top because we know F major has one flat. There you go. Now I'm going to click save. F. I'm going to call it penta scale. And I'm going to save it and I'm going to go to select level and let's see if it's in there. Yep, there it is. So now I can play my F penta scale drill. So you can create your own drills of any kind. And here's how they look. Oh, I'm still in uh, note selector. I mean, in uh, virtual piano. So it's still here. But on on the keyboard, like if you're in real piano mode, then it would just be on the on your actual piano. Okay. Now this is kind of cool. Look what happens when you um, tap on hint. Did you guys see what happened? I'm gonna do it again. So if you're super lost or you're really really new to music reading then you get a hint right there. So it alleviates any kind of frustration, like ah, I'm gonna just you know, put this away and, and, and go take a walk. Um, so you can actually get that immediate feedback if you need that, okay? Um, so that is called Note Selector. Now, um, now I'll show you guys sight reading, should I? Yeah, if okay. everybody. <laughs> okay, so this yeah. is what the sight reading section looks like. And again, we call this note fit. And the idea behind note fit is that you do a little bit every day, like a fitness pro, uh, like a fitness routine, kind of like what you guys have been doing in this sight reading challenge. The, the more consistent you can be with your practice, the better you become. And so this encourages you to do it just a little bit every day, right? Nothing crazy. Um, primer is good for beginners. And this, again, this is, based on the foundation of landmark notes. So what you're gonna get is four rhythmless pitches that you just play. And I'll show you what that looks like. I have to turn my iPad. So now I have four pitches and you guys recognize what they are? <laughs> so let me try it here. And again, in this section, you guys, it's really different from the other one. It's not a game. It's, it can't hear you play. So instead, you tap on the screen, and it plays back the correct one. OK, so if you want to give me a thumbs up if I did it, if it sounds exactly the same, if it doesn't sound the same, then thumbs down, and I try it again. <laughs> All right, so this is really valuable. In, that visual uh, skill of being able to read intervalically. You're reading basically sideways. And we're starting really simple. And so even really, like if you're a beginner, you can be doing these exercises. And um, with so much repetition, each of these series starts on the same landmark note, right? And then it goes up, down, you really have to track with it. Here, same C but it encourages you to try it on a different fingering because as you know, you can play different fingerings on the same pitches, right? So here we have um, C, E, C, E, two, four, two, four, if you wanna do the second fingering. Now after C is kind of exhausted, um, now it's middle C, but in the bass clef, right? The same middle C. So we go through these, all right? And um, once again, I'm gonna give it a try. Is that right? Let's see. What do you think? I don't think that was right. I think my fourth note was a little off. And so then it gives me an opportunity to try it again. And you, you can just do it at your own pace. Okay. Now we're on landmark notes G, right? The series of treble G. And now we go through these, now we're on base F. So again, remember the, um, the game section, we had landmark notes C, G, and F. 
it's the same three landmark notes that's um, beginning this exercise. So B and C, we go through more landmarks. Now, it looks a lot different once you get to level one. This is going to mostly be all seconds. So now you're just reading small intervals. Now you get what looks like real music, right? Okay, so we've got that and it's usually only one hand for now because we're trying to kind of ease, ease, ease you guys into it, right? Again, we can check how you did. The other thing you can do and I encourage you to do is use the, um, the start button. So when you tap the start button, it launches the clicks, the metronome clicks and you play along. So again, if you mess up, then the click encourages you to keep going as if somebody's playing with you, right? And so that's that's the idea. We call I call I call that playthrough skill, the ability to be able to play through your mistakes. All right. So and, no one's perfect when they're. And sight Grace, reading. you can change the tempo of that yes. click. Yes. Let me show you. So I'm going to go to the tempo, and so these are defaulted mostly to 110. So let's say I'm not ready for that. I'm going to go to 80. So do you see that you guys? So that's a really good feature to have because you should never play faster than you're ready to do. It's going to um, add to more frustration, right? And that's the whole idea behind this is to decrease your frustration <laughs> with, uh, with reading. All right, so then, you know, we get to more difficult music as you go along. Now you have some rests, you know. Um, and so now we have some eighth note reading. Bum, 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 bum. So you need to be really kind of cognizant of what you're doing. And if this is too difficult, once again, lower the tempo and play it much slower. So now, you know, there's more to think about. You have to think about rest. We have what we call articulations, which is like staccato, legato. Um, again, these are not the most important things to prioritize, but they're definitely there because we find it in real music. And what I wanted to do was replicate an actual music reading situation as closely as possible, right? So we have different melodies there. Um, let me go along and then when you go to level four more things some of these have um, great musical activities that enhance your theory knowledge because um i don't know if you guys have discussed this but um once you get a little bit more advanced along in your piano training um you're going to really want to lock down on like what theory is behind what the music you're playing um you're going to want to know what chords these are you know, uh, what key we're playing in. Um, and this, uh, the way their exercises are presented, they do um, unfold more, you know, gradually, but, um, but it's good to know. And so for, here's an example, this is in blank, major or minor. And then once you determine that, can you play it in the other mode? So for example, A minor is the same key signature as C major in case, you know, we're not there yet. And so we're playing this. So I'm actually just playing the A minor. So here's a little tip for you guys. If you want to shift it into major, do you know what you would do? You would simply move your third finger up from C to C sharp. It's going up a half step. And now we have. There's just a little random tip there. <laughs> um, we're playing with modes. All right, so um, now we have this thing called chord crush. I don't know if you guys are at that level of playing where you're playing some more chords, but it is available here in case you want to learn chord reading and get better at reading chord symbols. 
So we've kind of given you um, a scaffolded um, way of introducing chords to those who are more, um, you know, note reading reliant. Um, if you play pop or in like a church music setting or jazz, oftentimes you'll see these chord symbols at the top. And um, I found that this is really a good uh, skill to have if you're a piano player, especially if you guys are hobby piano players, like I think we are. Um, it's really good to have behind your belt. So here we have chords, C chord, F slash C. That basically is an inversion of what we call <laughs> F, um, but you know, I don't want to introduce too much and overwhelm, but it is there and you'll see a couple of notes at the bottom. So you can get familiar with how to read those chord symbols. And along with that, we um, introduce a little bit of light improvisation. I'm a huge fan of being able to improvise and this kind of helps ease you into improvisation as well. So for example, right here, those weird looking notes on the bottom in the bass, those aren't really notes, they're actually rhythm symbols. So that's a half note followed by two quarter notes. So here you have to kind of um, determine your own chord in the bass and how to play the C major. Yeah. Where's F? makes you use a little bit of a different side of your brain, right, to formulate those chords in the bass. Um, and I think if you're an adult piano player, it's a very, it's a cool thing to have. Um, any questions? I've pretty much covered most of it in a short time um, without going into too much detail. That's, that's what we've got. By the way, um, NoteQuest is going to change a little bit. So when if you come into it in a couple months, it might not look the same. In fact, it's not going to look the same. We're doing a little bit of a redesign and we're going to be putting all of the elements into one upgrade. Um, and so if you were to want to get the app, I would actually recommend that you get it sooner than later because you'll benefit. You'll be grand, grandfathered in for a year um, if you have uh, the upgrade now. Um, because we're going to have it all in one um, upgrade bundle. Because right now, people were saying, oh, it's a little confusing. You have this upgrade, that upgrade. You know, I tried to make it as a la carte as possible, but it ends up sometimes being more confusing. So I'm just going to put it all into one subscription app. So you'll have access to all of it. So I, I think it's going to be great when once it comes out. And it's going to be a little bit of an easier um, interface for a new person to use. So that's what we've got. Um, and here's the backgrounds, different backgrounds. We have, you know, these fun, if, if you like the beach, then you can have that. And I'll show you what that looks like. Oops, I keep turning the screen. So that's what the beach scene looks like. So that's about it from my end. I don't know if you guys have any questions or comments. There are some questions I see in the chat. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't see that right now. So feel free to ask away. Uh, well, maybe I can read them out to you then. Yeah, sure. So one question is whether, but I think you kind of answered, which was, are there separate subscriptions for note class and note fit or just one note quest subscription? Yes, yeah, so um, just to kind of reiterate what I just said in a more simple way. Um, right now, there are three separate upgrades, Note Class, Note Selector, which is make your own games, and Note Fit. Note Class and Note Selector are single in-app purchases. So once you buy it, it's just yours, right? Note um, Fit, the site reading section, is the one that is a subscription. And so you can do that monthly or yearly, right? Um, in the future, um, I think it's going to, in about two or three months, we're working pretty hard on it. Um, during the, in, in the redesign, we're going to see all of that in just one upgrade. But I'm going to be working out something if you're already a NoteQuest user, um, then you're going to be grandfathered in for a year. 
uh, we haven't worked out the details, but let's just, just know that you'll benefit if you have it um, sooner than later. Okay. And the other question was, does the note fit um, monthly annual subscription cover all the extra modules in NoteFit, or is it per module? Um, no, it includes everything that you see in NoteFit, from the little four note, land, you know, the four note primer level, all the way to the chords. Everything is in there, and it's included. Well, I hope you enjoyed this interview, and if you liked what you saw, then go to notequest.net and download the app. You can download it for free, you can try some of the features, and then if you enjoy it, then you can get a subscription. Now, if you're an Android user, the best way for now is to go to the shop on notequest.net and to look at the sight reading flashcards. And hopefully soon there will be a Android version for you to use. And if you would like to stay in touch with Gracely, you can sign up to her newsletter and follow her on Instagram. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Happy sight reading!